Okay. Hi, I'm Soumya, Soumya Venagopal. I'm an aspiring supply chain professional. I'm very passionate about supply chain. I've uh, worked in a couple of departments like warehouse management, supplier relationship management, data analysis and forecasting. My interest uh, would, uh, like five years down the lane, is to get equipped with all facets of supply chain and uh, really become a supply chain manager or, you know, the vice president of any organization. I'm interested to work with uh, challenging problems uh, in a company, in a fast-moving company, which um, gives me some really good uh, challenging roles. Um, so far in my career, I have about three years of experience working in project management and supply chain. I'm actually a recent graduate from Northeastern University. My specialization academically is mostly in supply chain and data analytics. I've streamlined it that way. I recently did a co-op, or uh, usually called as an internship at Staples. Staples, as we all know, is a leading uh, e-commerce and a retail corporation headquartered in Framingham. My role was uh, uh, as an industrial engineer in supply chain, but as you know, Staples is a fast-moving organization, and they have a lot of data analysis tools in place. And I closely work with the warehouse management team, involving a couple of analysts and a senior data uh, senior industrial engineers. So uh, my role was to mainly um, get uh, requirements from them, sit and brainstorm with the industrial engineers, and then clean up the data using SQL Server or uh, other resources which they were using, and then transform all the unclean and uh, the non-readable data for you know the bigger senior staffs into dashboards or visualizations, as we call them. For this, we use Tableau. And uh, since we were migrating all the data to Power BI, I had also used Power BI. So, so uh, that was the reason why Dustin contacted me to talk about what are the tools which we use in supply chain. Um, as I'm not that experienced, I can't talk about all the tools which are currently in the industry, but from experience and uh, from what I uh, get uh, reviews from my peers and colleagues, I can say that SQL Server and MySQL is one of the basic, I would say the bread and butter of many companies for restoring all the databases. Yes, I wouldn't say all the companies. I mean, Oracle is being used, Microsoft Azure, and many other tools are being used. But I would say about 90% of the companies prefer SQL Server. And um, in terms of data visualization and uh, cleaning and all that, they prefer Tableau. Because so Tableau, as we all know, is so classy and uh, it has that uh, beautiful look which anyone, any, any, you know, learn, novice can learn it from scratch. And uh, yeah, people who who think that Tableau is quite expensive are switching to Power BI and other tools because as we all know, Power BI is owned by Microsoft and it can be easily integrated with all the Microsoft products like Microsoft Azure and you know it has a cloud uh, version as well. So we can run the dashboards real time, we can refresh it and all those. So all other data cleaning tools, I would say, which are being used or most, most, most commonly by all the companies are R, Sometimes Python for data mining, data wrangling. And uh, this would be just data analysis. But uh, data analysis has other side as well, right? Like, uh, for instance, in, in, for ERP systems where companies club all the softwares together. So in that case, I see that SAP is being used everywhere. Uh, it's like literally people want someone with SAP. So if you have SAP on your profile, wow, you, you'll be chosen for the interview without doubt. And uh, yeah, one more tool which I found was really good is SaaS Miner, SaaS Enterprise Miner. That's a classy tool. People who had experience using LabVIEW would uh, really love it because it's a graphically, visually, visually appealing tool. And it tells you uh, what module you're on. You can apply all the data mining techniques in it. So SaaS is like something where you can code and also you can put in all like a big chunk of data and you can literally play with it. The problem is it's quite expensive, so not many companies use it. But yeah, as students, we have all rights to use it because it's, it comes for free. Same goes for Tableau. So we can use it for free as long as we want. And one more visualization tool, which I keep hearing everywhere, looks nice as well, is ClickView or ClickSense. 
the basic difference between click sense is that we can write code in it unlike other tools and so this is this is like a bi tool which is being preferred by financial institutions sometimes i guess they are used in supply chain as well yeah so this would be the data analysis part and we also have other tools like you know planning tools and optimization tools and all that so optimization uh, llama soft was being used in staples we used it in the transportation department it gives the best route i mean it's not just necessarily transportation you can use it in any other uh, route optimization or you know the getting the best routes and um, for planning i think even jda and people soft and all the softwares are used yeah so these are not really popular because um, it might be specific to few companies but i would say yeah more companies are increasingly becoming data conscious so it's it's very good to have any of these tools knowledge of any of these tools and uh, that's the way uh, we can move forward being a supply chain analyst because uh, supply chain analyst is more or less similar to a data analyst but just that we need to know about the domain and we should have the knowledge so that we have the upper hand uh, compared to other other people so uh, finally i forgot to mention ms excel excel is so underrated but people don't even uh, realize the importance of it because many companies work on excel manufacturing companies healthcare companies they want us to have the advanced knowledge of excel and make sure we come in and suggest better tools for them so unless they're so happy with excel that they create their own dashboards they do all the financial stuff they do all the basic stuff using five pivot tables and all those we look ups so it's more than enough for them so ms excel is a good way to start and uh, yeah we can use all these other tools as well and uh, yeah so the these would be a um, good way to start for any of the students and the resources i would say i would suggest would be linkedin linda and uh, coursera some of the other uh, places where i, I learned was um, data camp edx and all those places those are all a good place to start with and yeah that should be all um, and second thank you so much dustin for calling me for this interview i'm so glad uh, that i could you know contribute my part although i'm a novice i'm still learning and, and i'm getting equipped my, with the new tools and you know whatever the latest trends supply chain so i keep reading articles online i know if amazon is doing something different microsoft is trying to acquire you know uh, going with a partnership with walmart or something so i still do all that research so yeah i feel that a supply chain analyst should, should always be on the uh, should always be updated with the latest trends no matter what they have to know what is the tool which is being used on the market and they should be willing to transition they should have that mentality to take take up the challenge and learn it in minimum 2 3 weeks that is the secret of success and moving forward i would say a supply chain analyst can aim to be a senior supply chain analyst or a demand forecast demand plan or or you know in 5 years down the line supply chain managers or not a vice president or a director of company so that would be the path for a supply chain analyst and it's a very good role and it's it it, it it's like it's like really good it it's not really data intense because not many companies use it but yeah it has good job prospects and yeah it's a good role overall for students thank you